Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone without authorization? I'll tell you up front that the answer is no, and I'll explain why. So let's take a look. Drones under 55 pounds in the United States are operated generally under one of four different means of operation. There's non-recreational or commercial, operations under part 107 with a remote pilot certificate, or recreational operations under the exception for limited recreational operations under USC 44809, or as a public safety agency such as law enforcement, under part 107 or the statutory requirements for public aircraft or as a qualifying educational organization under USC 44809. There are variations to these, but generally these are the means by which we operate drones in the United States. Now in the US we have what's called the National Airspace System, which is regulated by the FAA or the Federal Aviation Administration. Per the FAA, National airspace is the area from the Earth's surface up to the Kármán line that defines space about 62 miles above sea level. Any aircraft that flies in the national airspace system is required to comply with FAA regulations, and drones are considered to be aircraft. In order to ensure safety within the national airspace system, the FAA designated six classes of airspace with different requirements to operate within them. Class A is all surface over the United States that begins at 18,000 feet up to 60,000 feet MSL. Class B is the airspace above major airports. Class C is the airspace over large airports that aren't as busy. And Class D is for smaller airports that have a control tower. And then there's Class E, which is the airspace between classes A, B, C, and D and for some small airports. Class G airspace is basically everything else, and that's where drones typically fly. Class A, B, C, D, and E are considered controlled airspace, and Class G is uncontrolled airspace. But uncontrolled is not the same as unregulated. So can you fly your drone in the national airspace system without authorization? As I mentioned, the answer is no but authorization is probably different than what you might think. Most people realize that flying a drone near an airport can be hazardous and that you probably need authorization, and that's correct. If you plan to fly in any controlled airspace, class A, B, C, D, or E, you have to obtain authorization from the FAA before making that flight. That can be obtained either through an airspace app like Air Control using the Lance process or through the FAA's Drone Zone website. That only leaves Class G airspace, and we all know that you don't need FAA authorization to fly in Class G, right? Actually, you do. I spoke with John Meehan from the FAA's Office of Safety Standards at the Commercial UAV Expo last week, and he clarified this for me. In order to fly a drone in the US, you are required to operate under Part 107 or the exception for recreational operations, which is USC 44809. People often argue about whether you need your 107 license, a remote pilot certificate, to take pictures of your grandma for the family website because it's not making money. But what John Meehan clarified for me was that your remote pilot certificate doesn't just allow you to make money with your drone. He stated your remote pilot certificate is your FAA authorization to fly in Class G airspace under Part 107 rules. It's no different than manned aircraft pilots. A private pilot, a commercial pilot, or air, air transport pilot certificates give those pilots authorization to operate an airplane in the NAS. But what about recreational operations? You don't need a remote pilot certificate under USC 44809. True, but you are required to pass an aeronautical knowledge and safety test and maintain proof of test passage to be made available to the administrator or law enforcement upon request. 
that trust certificate is your FAA authorization to operate a drone for recreational purposes in Class G airspace. That's why you're required to have that certificate with you when you fly your drone. So your pro tip is make sure you understand the rules and regulations that apply to your drone operations and carry your remote pilot certificate or your trust certificate with you when flying. These are your authority to fly in the US. Let us know in the comments if you have a can I fly my drone question so that we can cover it in a future video. Also hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified of upcoming content. So thanks for watching and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you soon.